Whether you're building a high revving small block or ground pounding big block, choosing the right crankshaft is critical if you want your engine to survive and thrive. If your crank isn't up to the task, you're floating with catastrophic failure. Today, we're diving into some of the things you need to know about choosing the right crankshaft for your engine, whether it's stock, mildly modded, or a full-blown race setup. We've put together a few tips to help you select the right crankshaft. But first, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest content, whether it's entertaining, informative, or both. Choosing the right crankshaft for your engine starts with the right fit, and that comes down to bore and stroke sizes along with bearing sizes. For example, here's a quick look at common engine displacements. And here are some common Ford engine bores and strokes. And those are just stock engine configurations. If you're looking to add displacement, you can build a stroker crank by altering crankshaft stroke or connecting rod length, but you can't just slap a stroker crank in and call a day. You need to make sure the crank specifications fit within the confines of your engine. Fortunately, we offer a handy tool on our website that can help you calculate possible stroker combinations for your engine. As a rule of thumb, here's how altering stroke will affect performance. A short stroke will yield higher RPM with less torque. A longer stroke will create more low-end torque but limited top-end RPM. And stroker cranks increase your displacement, but again, you may need to take some special measures such as clearancing to make things work. You'll also need to consider the type of material your crankshaft is made from. There are four main crankshaft materials, and they each have a sweet spot, so let's go through them now. First, cast iron or nodular iron. Here's what you need to know. These iron options are found in stock engines, good up to 300 to 400 horsepower, and affordable and fine for cruisers or weekend warriors. Next, let's look at cast steel. This material is stronger than iron, reliable up to 500 horsepower, and great for mild performance builds on pump gas. How about forged steel? This material is ideal for heavily modified street or race setups. They typically have a tensile strength from 110,000 to 140,000 PSI, and it handles 600 to 1,000 plus horsepower. Finally, let's examine billet steel. This high-end option is machined from solid steel bar, offers top-tier strength, and not limited to an official horsepower rating. The sky's the limit when you go with billet steel. In fact, billet is ideal for hardcore racing, but be forewarned, you're gonna pay handsomely for all that strength. As you can probably tell, choosing the right crankshaft material for your application comes down to your vehicle's intended purpose and, to a lesser extent, budget. If you've got a daily driver or weekend cruiser, a cast iron or nodular iron crank will do. If you've got a street strip or mild performance build in the works, step it up to cast steel to avoid potential issues. Got a serious track car or drag racer? Go with Forged. Forged is also the right play for boosted or high compression engines and even nitrous if you're giving your engine a serious jolt. And for high horsepower or serious competition racing, billet is the way to go. Another important thing to consider is the balance style of your crankshaft. Internally balanced crankshafts can use the counterweights alone to balance the crankshaft. Externally balanced cranks often require external items to be properly balanced. This can be added at the harmonic damper and or flywheel. Either way, every crankshaft has to be matched to your pistons and rods and to your engine's balance style. No matter which direction you go, have your entire rotating assembly professionally balanced by a machine shop. There are some other options to consider when buying an aftermarket crankshaft. Most manufacturers use some additional processes to improve fatigue resistance or lighten the rotating mass. Look at the product description for things like induction hardening, shot painting, or cryo treatment to improve fatigue resistance. Radius journal fillets can have more strength where it counts, and undrilled mains or slotted counterweights can reduce rotating mass. In over 55 years of business, we've seen our share of common mistakes related to crankshaft selection. Here are five that really stand out. Number one, buying swap meat specials. They're usually worn or damaged. Two, budget bills with crank expectations beyond reality. Three, skipping the balancing. Four, stroker clearance issues. Remember, always mock up your stroker engine first. And five, using the wrong bearings, especially on forged cranks. Be sure to match your bearings to your application. 
Whether you're building a 350 for the street or a 632 for the strip, choosing the right crankshaft is all about understanding your goals and not cutting corners. Do your homework, avoid the common mistakes, and your engine will thank you.